What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in Java programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to use comparison operators. So let's get started. Now what are comparison operators? Well a comparison operator is used to compare two values. It could be an integer, it could be whatever. And it compares it. Depending on the comparison operator it does different things. Now I showed you guys how to use a comparison operator. We use the equal to when we started learning how to create if and else statements. So I'm going to show you the rest of them in this tutorial. So the first thing we're going to need to do is create a variable and it's going to be an integer data type. So we're going to type in I N T. We're going to hit space and we got to give our variable a name. I'm going to name mine red and I'm going to hit space. We're going to use this equal to symbol. I'm going to hit space and we're going to give our variable a value. I'm going to give my variable value of 10 and we're going to end it with a semicolon because it is a statement. Now we're going to start the if statement. So to start the if statement, you have to type in if hit space, open and close parentheses, hit space, open curly brace, close and curly brace, right? Now, in between this open and close curly brace here, we're gonna hit enter a few times. Now, in, inside this open and close parentheses, we're gonna test two uh, values, right? And we're gonna uh, use uh, different comparison operators to do it. Now, first off, we gotta type in red because we're gonna test the value of red, right? Our variable red has a value of 10 here. So now, after the red, we're gonna hit space and we're gonna use the first comparison operator. This uh, less than symbol here. We're going to hit space and we're going to say 10. So this is a comparison operator. This is the less than symbol, right? So if red is less than 10, then it's, it's going to do something in between this open and close curly brace here. So we're going to print something out on the screen. So we're going to use this system dot out that print LN. So capital S Y S T E M dot out dot print LN open and close parentheses and did it with a semicolon here. We gotta end it with a semicolon. Now, in between this open and close parentheses, we're gonna type in a message. So we're gonna use a set of double quotes, so two double quotes. In between the set of double quotes here, we're gonna type in yes. So again, from the top, declared a variable, we called red, it's an integer data type. We gave this variable a value of 10. Now, down here, we used the if statement here, right? We said if our variable red here, and we use this less than comparison operator. If variable red is less than 10, it's gonna do something here. It's gonna print yes, right? But now we're gonna create the else statement. So if it's not less than 10, it's gonna do something else. So we gotta type in else down here. After this uh, closing curly brace here, we're gonna type in else, right? Hit space, open and close curly brace, right? In between this open and close curly brace, we're going to hit enter a few times. Now we wanted to do something if red is not less than 10. So if it's not less than 10, it's going to print something out on the screen. So we're going to type in system dot out dot print ln open and close parentheses and the witty semicolon, right? And we're going to end the way semicolon. In between this open and close parentheses, we're going to type in a set of double quotes. In between the set of double quotes, we're going to type in no. So again, from the top, we declared a variable. Variable's red, and it's equal to 10. Down here, we start an if statement here. Inside this uh, open and close parentheses, we're testing two variables, and we're using the less than uh, comparison operator, right? We're testing whether or not red is less than the value of 10. Red is, is not less than the value of 10, so it should print that no, because they're equal to 10, right? So I'm gonna hit play here and it should print out no. And it did because red is not less than 10. So let's make uh, red nine. Let's make less. Let's make red less than 10. So let's make red nine here. So I'm gonna set a nine up here. Let's hit play. And it printed out yes, because red is less than 10 now. So let's try another one. Let's try the greater than. So the greater than is the opposite. It's this symbol here. So this is another comparison operator. This is the greater than. Right. So now this is going to test whether or not red is greater than 10. If red is greater than 10, it's going to print that yes. If red is not greater than 10, it's going to print that no. So red is not greater than 10, so it should print that no. Let's hit play. It printed out no because red is not greater than 10. So let's make red greater than 10. So let's make red 11 up here. All right, so I'm going to hit play again. And it printed out yes, because now red is greater than 10. So now we're gonna start the next comparison operator. So the next one is gonna be less than or equal to. So let's delete this here. We, we gotta use a less than symbol and an equal symbol here. So what this is gonna do, if red is less than 10 or equal to 10, it's gonna print out yes, right? So it should print out no, because red is 11 now. It's, it's not less than or it's not equal to 10. So let's hit play here. 
and it printed out no. So now let's make uh, red equal to 10. So it prints out yes, All right? So let's hit play up here. It printed out or, or yes because it's less than or equal to. So that so red is equal to 10. So that's why it printed out yes. So let's make red less than 10, right? Let's make red 9 again, and it should still print out because red is less than 10 now. So let's hit play over here, and then print that out. Yes, because red is less than 10. Now let's try another one. Let's try greater than and equal to. We've got to replace this less than symbol with a greater than symbol. Now it's greater than or equal to. So right now uh, red is uh, less than 10, and it's not equal to 10. So let's hit play. It should print out no. And it printed out no because red is not greater than or equal to 10. So let's make red equal to 10, all right? So right now it should print out yes because it's greater than or equal to. So let's hit play and print it out yes. So let's make uh, red equal 11. So let's make it greater than a red. So now red is greater than 10. So let's hit play, it should print out yes. And it printed out yes down here. So let's try the next comparison operator here. So the next one is equal to. This is the one we uh, we used when we were first uh, starting to learn how to use the if and else statements. So two equal two symbols here is an equal to, right? One is assigning value. When you use one equal two symbol, it's assigning value. Like when you declare variables or when you want to give a variable a, a value, you use one equal symbol. When you're using two equal symbols, that's a comparison operator. You're comparing whether or not two values are equal to each other. So now, so what this is saying, if red is equal to 10, then it's going to print out yes. Or if it's not equal to 10, then it's going to print out no. So let's hit play. It should print out no. And it printed out no because red is not equal to 10. Red is equal to 11 up here. So let's make them equal to each other. Let's make red 10 up here. Right? So now they're equal to each other. So now it should print out yes. It printed out yes because they're equal to each other. So let's try the last one. The last one is not equal to. It's almost similar to the equal to, but you got to replace the first equal to symbol with this exclamation point here. So it's exclamation point equal to. This is not equal to. So if so, if red is not equal to 10, it'll print out yes. Otherwise, it'll print out no. Let's hit play. And it printed out no because red is equal to 10, right? So since they're equal to each other, it printed out no. Remember, this is not equal to. So if red was not equal to 10, then it'll print out yes. So let's make them not equal to each other. Let's make red 9. So now it should print out yes because red is not equal to 10. And it printed out yes. All right, so that's pretty much it for the comparison operators. Now, if you guys like this class, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RasmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.